Hi Pisces, welcome to my channel, Badison Intuitive Tarot. In today's reading, I'm taking a look into your romantic love life for the month of March 2024. I'm gonna pull a seven card spread for you to see who shows up in your reading today with romantic intentions. Whether it's a new person entering your life or a returning love, or you're already connecting with someone and you're just curious about how your connection is gonna play out this month and whether or not you can trust them. Whichever your status is at the moment, Pisces, I will try my very best to see what you can expect with whomever you're expecting it with. But first, happy birthday. I absolutely adore you guys. Hope your birthday season is treating you amazing because you deserve it. All right, so let's begin. Spirit, please tap into the energy of Pisces today. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. Who is Pisces connecting to this month? What's the situation? How will the story play out in March? Can Pisces trust this person? How does this person truly, truly feel about Pisces this month? And how does Pisces feel? Pisces, love, March 2024. What is their tarot monthly forecast? Two more shuffles. One and two. Let's rock this and deck for my birthday babies. Ah, that card wanted to say, so I'm keeping it. <laughs> it's a bonus card. Let's see what this card is before we get yours spread out. We have the Empress. Now, with the Empress wanting to come out the way that it did, I am getting that in March, there's this energy of love around you, the energy of abundance around you. There may be people that are just guiding their way towards you to tell you that they care about you, to wish you happy birthday, to just show you a lot of love and appreciation. Okay, we will see what's going on with your romantic love life, but at the very least, it looks like you have a lot of people around you that may be texting you, sending you cards in the mail, just letting you know that they care about you and they want you to know that they're happy you are here. Okay, I love it. I like that energy. It's very nurturing. All right, so for the person that you're dealing with romantically, how do they feel about you? We have the lover's card. So it's safe to say there's a lot of people that are loving you, Pisces. Um, now, I feel like I got two different groups of Pisceans here. I got a group that has someone already special in their life and you guys' love connection just keeps on growing and growing and growing as each new day, another gray hair shows up on your beautiful heads there. Um, and for other Pisceans, you may be in a little bit of a love triangle where there's somebody that wants to break you and your person up or wants you to finally move on from someone so they can swoop in. We will see. All I know is I want to read that dog's tell-all book because <laughs> he's got a story to tell you. So Pisces, you got a lot of people that love you this month. And if you're single as a Pringle right now, um, there could be someone entering your life this month who you're just going to hit it off with like a magnet. Um, that's Gemini energy, and I just noticed there's two major arcanas already. Major arcanas show up in a reading when there's a major life change happening. Minor arcana is minor things that changes throughout the day. Major arcana is things you notice, all right? We will see. Let's take a look at this person's true intentions. We have the Knight of Swords. So you've got someone that intends to talk to you, that intends to really like have a lot of conversations with you this month. Um, I do feel like for some of you, some of the things that this person may be saying to you may be leaving you kind of like, hmm, how should I take that? I don't know how I should read that. What did that person mean when they said that? You know, something like that. I will clarify it. But I am getting that there's gonna be a lot of communication, especially with both these cards being Gemini energy and Gemini's planet ruler is Mercury, which is all about communication, emailing, texting, thoughts being, you know, expressed. So a lot of, a lot of like intel, a lot of you guys getting to know somebody better. Let's take a look at their behavior. The Four of Pentacles. You do have someone that might be a bit possessive around you this month. Sometimes the Four of Pentacles can be the energy of Pisces, you know, I don't, I don't feel comfortable you talking to other people that might have romantic interest in you, things like that. Sometimes the Four of Pentacles is someone that's wanting to hold on to someone so tightly and to protect the relationship, so they might come off a bit jealous of who you spend your time with, but it doesn't have to be that way, I'll clarify it. But the Four of Pentacles is the energy of seeing the value in somebody and wanting to protect it at all costs. So if you are that loving person that everybody wants to be around and hug and just spend quality time with, this person may feel like they have to protect you, 
Not saying that you need protection, just it's coming up that way. And when I look at the Lover's card, that's the Empress and the Emperor together. And we already have the Emperor showing up. So we just need someone to show up as the Emperor for you, regardless of gender. You know, I come up as the Emperor a lot in my own personal readings for myself. We all have masculine and feminine energy. All right. Let's take a look at your feelings for this person. Because right now, this person is definitely into you. Um, they intend to speed something up with that Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords is the fastest moving knight. You would think that the Knight of Wands was faster, but it's actually the Knight of Swords. That's a lot of incoming text messaging. There's a lot of um, emails, things like that. But they're protecting something. But I'm also seeing someone that might be a little bit closed off emotionally out of fear. How does Pisces feel about this person in March? The Queen of Swords. You, on the other hand, you're keeping a low profile when it comes to matters of the heart. You're kind of like studying this person in March, which is really, you know, really different from what I usually get for you, Pisces. Usually in your readings, you're the one that's coming in with this open heart, just being like, oh, I just want to nurture you and love you. But in this reading, you're like, hold on. I got to make sure that I'm not getting too attached here. I'm not jumping the gun on anything. And that could be why you've got this facial expression right here, or your person is. It's like some of the things that they're saying to you might leave you feeling like, what do they mean by that? Are they saying that they want me? Are they saying that they just want to be friends with me? Are they just wanting to, you know, what, what do they, what do they want? You know? Now, if this is someone that you're already in a relationship where you already know what your status is together, there could be a conversation that you're having with this person that needs to be had in order for this connection to really flourish and go the distance. All right, let's take a look at your challenge. The Six of Cups. Now, when the Six of Cups shows up in the challenge position, I do feel like in March, someone may be worried that they're repeating the past that doesn't really serve them anymore, right? For example, say you and this person were connecting in February and they may have said something hurtful to you um, and they apologized. Maybe in March, you know, they might, you know, have a slip of the tongue and say the same thing again. And it's like, come on now, I thought you said you weren't going to do that again and you, you're upset about it. Um, or, or there's something involving some past situation. Like if you have history with this person, Pisces, you guys are having trouble moving on from the past, letting something go, all right? And that could be why the Four of Pentacles is here because the Four of Pentacles is the energy of hoarding something, hoarding something and not letting it go in order for the connection to flow, you know? Because where thoughts go, energy flows. Hmm, someone may be keeping something like really like stuck from where it could go. Interesting. For some, there could be a past situation involved outside of the two of you. And for others, there could be children involved. Let's get your outcome and I'm going to start clarifying. What's the potential outcome for Pisces? The Magician. Beautiful. With the Magician being your outcome, they're showing me that whatever you're wanting to see happen in the month of March, you've got the tools needed to make everything work out in your favor, Pisces. Whatever you're doing, it's working this month. So keep at it. I feel like um, this is the energy of applying, your, applying something into action and making something what it needs to be. And I'm getting a lot of Mercury energy off of this reading. Let's take a look at your advice. The Hierophant. I feel like you're learning a valuable lesson from this experience, Pisces. And they really want you to soak it all in because it's really going to benefit you. All right, there's some sort of major lesson here. And for others, this could be telling me that they're giving you the green light to pursue maybe a relationship with this person of a higher level if this is someone that's giving you what you deserve and need. Okay? And this could also be saying that if they're not giving you what you deserve and, you, and what you need, they're also saying, you know, definitely do what you believe is best for you. Listen to what your beliefs are. Okay, what's the overall energy? The Eight of Swords and the High Priestess and the Ace of Cups and Temperance. So the Eight of Swords, that, that's a tricky energy sometimes. The Eight of Swords is that place where we go, where we overthink certain situations. We, we try to fill in the missing pieces of a puzzle if someone's not helping us with 
what we're trying to figure out, okay? And it's a, a place where we go where we can inadvertently make something out of nothing or just like sabotage what we're trying to build with somebody, whether this person's doing that to you or you are doing it to them. I'm strongly getting that Pisces, you're going to try and keep a low profile with this person and keep your feelings and intentions discreet until you see what they're up to. Which is, you know, normally Pisceans are very open with your heart chakra, but this go around, you feel like you can't. Okay, you, you just want to see what their moves are. You want to see what their actions are first. Yeah, my sage stick. Okay, so let's break it down. Let's start with your person's feelings for you this month. In March, you got someone that's going to feel the love for you. Why the lover's card for how this person feels about Pisces in March? Why the lover's? The Strength card, the Page of Swords, and the Ten of Swords. For some of you, this is you guys trying to return to the relationship maybe after a failed attempt. Someone's trying to build up the confidence and the courage to like move past something because they don't want to let it go. And you're over here like, I don't know about this. I don't know about this. We already tried this, didn't we? And it didn't work, you know? Could be what I'm getting. You got all this love and attention around you in March Pisces, and they really want to make sure that you're giving your, your time to people who deserve it. All right, let's just see. I want to take a look at their intentions in a moment to make sure that they've got good intentions with you. All right, why is the Queen of Swords how Pisces feels about this person? Because I'm still feeling like this is, hold on, why the Queen of Swords? The Five of Pentacles and the Five of Wands. Pisces, you've got somebody coming towards you after they've already shown you one time that they are capable of leaving you out in the cold. Especially with those repeated fives. And even though they're talking to you in March, you are not going to give them exactly what they're expecting. You're coming in very careful. You're coming in very, you know, not wanting to get hurt again which I don't blame you. This person is sending you a message this month. It feels very sweet, but at the same time, you're, you're not trusting what they're sending you. And I felt that earlier when I was staring at this woman's facial expression. Or a guy, it doesn't have to be a woman. Um, it's like you're talking to this person, you're open to talking to this person, but you're scared of revisiting a past situation or you're scared that something hasn't changed or you're scared that you know past behaviors will come back up again. That does not mean that this is an ex of yours. For some of you, you guys never even got the connection off the ground. It was starting to get that way and then all of a sudden something happened and it just, it went like, you know, radio silence with that high priestess to the eight of swords. It was like pending a new beginning with that Ace of Cups. The, the, the connection was there floating around for someone to take it and something happened and I don't know what it is. But this person's holding on to you because um, they see the value but at the same time you're like, why didn't you see my value before this happened? Or, or if it's not someone that abandoned you, Pisces, it's someone that didn't leave you feeling comfortable with the relationship. Because the Five of Pentacles, that's the energy of not feeling comfortable with somebody, not feeling safe to just be romantic, expressive, to be yourself. Like you had to like filter certain words you said to this person because you didn't feel safe to be like, I love you, or I like you, or I want a future with you. You felt like you couldn't have that safety to, to say all that stuff because you were worried about whether or not that was going to push them away or that, the, that you guys were not on the same page or that they had no intentions of the same things that you were intending. There was a whole bunch of confusion. Um, hmm. Let's take a look at their intentions. Their intentions towards you in March is the Knight of Swords. This could be you deciding to manifest a new opportunity into your life, something that is going to be in alignment with what you believe in. If this person already, like, you know, broke your trust. Why the Knight of Swords? 
the lover's card. They intend to get close to you this month. They're planning some sort of offer. But I also see that devil card in the hair font. It might be an offer that you may feel like is going to bring you back to a space where you're stuck again, uh, Pisces. This is going to be a massive lesson. A massive lesson. You're being tested this month. And they really want to, want to see you use your discernment, your intuition, and your heart in regards to the situation and do what's best for you. Because they're showing me that you're not sure on people who want to love you and give you everything that you deserve. And if you feel like this person is meeting that need, then reciprocate it. But if you feel like this person has already shown you that you can't count on them, then it's a missed opportunity. Because when the lover's card shows up, at least twice, that shows me that spiritually, energetically, you guys had the potential to turn this into something long term. Um, you guys are soulmates. Now, don't get hung up on the word soulmate. We have many soulmates. I like to call it a mason jar full of soulmates. We have soulmates that could be our best friends, our teachers, our lovers, people who really teach us the toughest lessons, and then the ones that we are supposed to have peaceful relationships with. Right? So if this person doesn't you know, pursue the opportunity of being with you, you have another soulmate in that mason jar that you can participate in to get what you're looking for in your love life. Because whatever is meant to be will always be. It just may come in in a different package or it might come in in a different way. But whatever is meant for you will always be for you. All right. So it's, it's definitely showing me that someone's trying to pursue a moment with you this month. Maybe they're feeling nostalgic because they know it's your birthday season, but you're not trusting the situation. All right, let's continue. Why the Six of Cups in the challenge position? The Hanged Man and the Queen of Swords. Yeah, look at that. And you got the Queen of Swords right here. Pisces, you're, you're feeling like... When this person comes towards you in March, you're going to feel like you're going to need a moment. You're going to tell this person, look, I need a moment. I need to reflect on things. I need to really look at this from a different perspective to see if I can do this again. Right? And you see how you're, you're in that tree? You've got your heart chakra being covered by that one big branch. You see? You're not showing this person your heart chakra anymore. You're, you're like always finding a way to cover it. Just like in those shows from the 1950s where if a woman was pregnant, they always had something like blocking them, like always strategically holding some sort of book, holding some sort of pillow or standing behind something. It's like that with your heart chakra though. It's like you're constantly trying to like cover up your heart so this person doesn't like get close to it while you're still trying to figure something out. It's like you're trying to not let this person tug at your heartstrings because you feel like they are good at it. It's like this is someone that if you see them in person and see their face, hear their voice, you might forget how much they hurt you and just want to wrap your arms around them and kiss them and hold them and forget about all the problems that you guys had recently. But you're really trying your best to like not let them do that while you try to figure out what to do moving forward. All right, that's what I'm getting. I, please only take it if it resonates, but you got someone that you already had a failed attempt with, I feel. I, I'm not sh showing that you guys were actually in a relationship and that this was an ex situation. I feel like you guys were trying to get into a relationship. You were trying to get things off the ground, but it didn't pan out um, because someone may have sabotaged something. Um, but if this is an ex of yours, I try not to do ex readings. I like to stay in the moment. I don't like to focus on exes or past people, but I can't help what comes up in the reading, okay guys? So please don't get mad at me. I can't make up the meaning of the Six of Cups card. I, I just can't. Um, there's someone coming back around wanting to friggin' revisit something and you're feeling confused. Clarify the Four of Pentacles as this person's behavior with Pisces. The Tower and the High Priestess, Ten of Cups, King of Cups, oh my Lanta. All right, so their behavior this month is gonna be very surprising. The Moon, um, not the Moon, the High Priestess and the Tower comes in with a lot of strong energy. It's like big energy, okay? When this type of combination comes in, you know your spirit team is watching 
to see what you do next, Pisces. They're watching you. They got that popcorn ready and they're wanting to see what Pisces is going to do because you've got the free will to enter any timeline you, you decide. You can enter the timeline where you give this person another go or you can enter the timeline where you say no. No mas, I'm not repeating the past. You've already proven to me that you are not supportive and you can abandon me. I wanna, I wanna create new for myself. For some of you, you can choose the timeline where you're like, all right, can we let go of what happened in the past? Can we move forward? Can we do this again and do things differently without getting to the same place over and over again? You know, six steps forward, 12 steps back, right? You have the free will. I feel like this is a huge spiritual um, lesson for you. What you decide now is going to like change your life in a massive way. Okay, let's see what that uh, magician is all about. Again, Pisces, if this person's not loving up on you, you you're not short for love. Someone else will. Why the magician? Why the magician? The Knight of Cups. The Four of Cups and the Seven of Swords. Oh my, oh, Pisces. You're making the choice this month to reject their romantic love offer. It's looking like that because you don't trust the situation, Seven of Swords, and you're telling the universe you want to manifest new into your life. Okay, that's what it's showing me. Take it however it resonates. You could end up changing your mind throughout the middle of March, but as of right now, Pisces, the energy I'm getting here is you're like, no mas. No, I, d I don't want to do this again. I want new love. I want love that hasn't hurt me like this. Um, but for those of you who are going to choose to reconcile with this person, it's not until you guys really like talk something out. All right. Because remember, you're never tied and bound to an outcome in a reading. Don't let anyone ever tell you that the outcome in a reading is set in stone. You've got free will. Whoever you're dealing with has free will. You're in control of your own destiny. Okay, don't ever give your power away to tarot cards. So let's clarify your advice, Pisces, because I see that teacher there and he's smiling at his students as if he's seeing that his students are taking in what he's teaching. So it shows me that you are leveling up and I'm so freaking proud of you, Pisces. Let's take a look. Why the hair font? The star and the six of pentacles. They're showing me that you're understanding the lesson here that you know, what you want wants you to never to settle for less, only, you know, give to reciprocal relationships, Six of Pentacles, and not to one-sided connections that leave you feeling like you weren't deserving of someone's time and attention because you're the freaking Empress. Let's clarify the Empress. Why the Empress? Why the Empress? The Fool. You're starting a brand new beginning. I feel like there's somebody new heading towards you, Pisces. I'm strongly getting that at the start of Aries season, which begins at the end of March. Now, cross watcher, if you never hurt Pisces, then this is not your situation. Maybe you're the new person, all right? But this is Pisces reading and I, I'm focusing on Pisces. So I'm definitely feeling like at the end of this month, you've got something exciting and new coming in that is going to lead you to a brand new beginning with that sun beaming on you. That sun is Leo energy, Leo rules the heart, someone that's gonna head towards you and be very open with their heart, where you're gonna feel safe to open up your heart with them too. So Pisces, get ready. You've got a new person coming towards you after you make peace with somebody this month and tell them, look, thank you for coming back and saying some nice things to me, but I don't trust what I'm hearing from you. I'm not getting a good read off of this. I don't feel comfortable to be myself around you, which is a sign that I should move in a different direction. Thank you for the birthday wish. Have a good day. That's what it feels like. It feels like you have like a someone that dropped the ball and ghosted you with that five of pentacles or someone that was actually in a relationship with you but hurt you in some way coming back around and you're saying no. I want better. Actually, let me get a card on who this new person could be. Hold on. It is your birthday season, so I'm going to get a bonus card. And I'm going to use my new tarot cards. Who is this new person? Who is this new person? Who is this new person heading towards Pisces?
who is this new person heading towards Pisces on the third week of March or around that time frame? Ooh. Pisces. You are going to accept this person back. Oh my goodness. Pisces, yeah. For some of you, you're going to accept this person back. What about the ones that are not going to accept this person back? What about the ones that are not going to accept this person back? Three of Cups. All right, so the Three of Cups is dating. It's getting to know people. It's meeting new people through mutual friends and just, you know, Figuring out things while just having a good time with people. Some of you might meet someone at, your, at a birthday gathering with that Three of Cups because the Three of Cups is celebration. Hermit on the bottom. Yeah, so I feel like I have a coin toss. I feel like I have 50% of Pisceans that are going to say no to this person but go back to them anyway because um, you feel like there's still something there. And then I have another group of Pisceans that are really going to stick to their bones here and like go towards something new. But definitely take it however it resonates, Pisces. I feel like for some of you Pisceans, you may still have some learning to do in regards to this person. Maybe you guys have unfinished karma together, but don't let that, you know, make you feel like you have to give to this person because there's unfinished karma. We have karma with everybody. You know, karma doesn't, it, it, we all have things that we gotta do. But all I know is I really hope that you're gonna make the best decision for yourself. If someone's treating you right and coming back in a different way, then maybe give them a chance. But at the first sight of them hurting you again or whatnot, you gotta do it, you gotta protect yourself. All right. But for the Pisceans that are not going to give this person another chance, you've got a lot to be happy for. You've got a lot of celebration heading up for you. Yeah, it's, it looks like you're accepting someone's apology. You're accepting someone's apology. Could be a Capricorn, strong Capricorn energy. Um, let's get your hidden message. <sighs> I was really hoping to see the majority of you guys uh, releasing something that wasn't, I don't know. Everyone's situation is different. All right, so for zodiac signs that came through this reading today, I have Aquarius, I have Taurus, I have Libra, strong Taurus, I have Gemini, strong Gemini, Leo, Aries. It could be any zodiac sign though. Please rock that like and subscribe button for your girl. And if you would like to book a private reading with me, Pisces, the link to my website can be found in the description box below of every video. I also go live every weekend with the All Signs, Their Feelings For You spread where you get to see my face and I interact with you live on, on the live stream. I'll link up the most recent one I did in the description box below this video where you can dive into your person's feelings for you for the next seven days. That reading I recently did felt like you went through a breakup with somebody and this feels like that person's back around based off of the reading I see here. I still feel connected to you, but I waited too long to reach out. Is it too late for us? Yeah, Pisces, you got someone reaching out to you after maybe waiting a, a while and you're struggling with what to do here. I couldn't handle my true feelings for you, so I kept you as a friend and nothing more. You may have fell in love with a friends with benefits, someone that was not facing their feelings. I wonder if you still think about me. How do you feel about me now that you've had time to reflect? I'm confused about what I should do about my feelings for you. So you got this person coming back around, but again, they're still confused about their feelings for you. So even though they're coming in with the intentions of coming back around, with that confusion, that could tell me that it could still change to the old pattern. It's like someone won't make their mind up, but they're keeping you stuck at the same time. All right, do what you gotta do, Pisces. You're very intuitive. I trust that you will do what's best for you. All right, so just try to do what's best for you. I wish you a happy birthday. Smile until your cheeks hurt. You're loved by a lot of people based off of what I see in this reading today. Make sure that you're loving yourself first, okay? Namaste, take care.